what I noticed also of the three that I had in my fridge. Okay. This is the only one that actually has the year on the top. Interesting. The silver thing. I wonder uh, why. The other two, it doesn't have that on there. It's just kind of blank. Do you so. know when they actually started this? Is this like really like one of the um, first ones? Well, or? 2005 is the year that I started working at Trader Joe's. Um, and they said that they had done it before that. Okay. So, um, but obviously, so it, you know, I'm not sure if it had started a year or two before that, but at, you know, at the very least, an ex- one extra year, so that'd be since 2004. So, but I have a as this is from my the the year I started working at Trader Joe's. Wow. Okay. So this so. is I, I I'm interested to try this just because yes. of the age on this beer, which we'll get into in a minute. That's but I will say that I probably have uh, I probably am a little bit opposite of you know of uh, Charles Dickens' novel here. I don't have great expectations. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. low expectations. Yeah. But I, I could be pleasantly surprised because I did could look be. up. This actually has reviews on some other sites. They liked it at the time. Yep. And now we'll find if uh, this vintage ale holds up eight years later because that's what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today actually is the uh, Trader Joe's uh, vintage ale. Uh, and this is uh, vintage. 2005, this actually. The 2005 edition. So, yeah. Uh, and, and like I said before, that's the uh, the year I actually started working there. So this is, uh, well, this uh, Christmas season, this would celebrate its eighth, uh, eighth birthday. So it's been around. Now, on the back, they actually do say that this can age, but I've aged it past what they even said. Um, best before 10, 13, 2008. Oh, okay. So we've gone. I was excited fi- there for a second. I thought you were going to like have something really close. So no. So we've gone uh, five years past what they say best before. But okay. uh, you know, I have this is the 2005. I also have a 2009 and a 2011 still sitting in my fridge that I desperately tried to get Andrew to. Hey, so let's try all three of them. <laughs> and uh, I said I'll try your oldest one. And but I'm not trying these other. And ones. we knew we would. There was no way that the two of us were going to drink all three of these because they're. You know, it comes in at nine percent alcohol. But um, I honestly, I have a very small dorm fridge. In my uh, in my garage, and I just wanted a little room. And we've talked about this. We've uh, we've talked about maybe getting Joe in on this, and uh, and and trying all three of these. But um, you know, it, it's a it is a, it's a dark ale on Lees. So it's, that a Belgian, means it's, right? it's a Belgian, It's a Belgian style. Belgian dark, style. Okay. It's brewed by uh, Unibro out of Canada, um, and they brew La Fin du Monde and uh, Tres Pistolas and Maudite, and there's a f- there's several others that they okay. that they do. Uh, but they do this for Trader Joe's every year. And uh, I, you know, it, there was a time where every year I'd buy one or two of these and have it, and then that was it. That's all I needed because overall, this isn't my style of beer. Because usually um, heavier, a little sweeter, spices, yeah. all those kinds of things. Yeah, but but good, you know, because usually it comes out right around the third week of November, so it's okay. yeah, it's cold here even in Tucson, and it's kind of nice. And watch a football game and just crack one of those open, pour it in a little uh, like a brandy snifter or something, and I enjoy that. But last year I didn't even buy one because I, I just my my tastes really have gone you yeah. know, other directions, so I didn't even. But you know, they're only they're five bucks every year, so if this is your style and you do like that brewery you know it's it, it's a it's uh you know it's a 750 milliliter it's you know tw- uh you know 25.4 yeah, th- ounces so i think just looking at what i've seen on other sites and scouring around it seems like for the most part the style is fairly true right and that it's you know like i said it's a decently made style it's just not necessarily your you know your yeah. cup of tea yeah even like i said even when i weird. was having it yeah it was <laughs> it was maybe yeah one or maybe a second one but you know people they look forward to this in every the same year night. they come in yeah ooh <laughs> no <laughs> that, no that one in one night is good but uh, you know people come in and they they eagerly uh, look forward to this now, <laughs> this is this a good is We're going to find out if I can actually open Well, it. and, you know, there was a, there were a couple of years of those. I actually had to go get <laughs> go get the vice grips. I may have to. I'm checking this out here. We may have to do a little... Uh, Unless little, you can do the rock and... A little pause and come back. I'll try that as well. Oh, Just actually, it, it looks like that's going to work. Don't point it. Okay. <laughs> so think of some interesting conversation while I slowly... Yeah, <laughs> well, this, this will be okay. I was going I was going to go with the cheers reference where... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, th- uh, that almost hit me. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, uh, we're all about Cheers and Seinfeld references here, so it's working? Yeah, it's working. It's I'm just going to try and do the super slow here. Aim for my iPad if <laughs> something's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Protect the technology. Now, you've actually kept this refrigerated, correct? Yeah, it's been, it's been refrigerated low these many years. I think. Oh, I 
think I did it. Okay. okay. Nice. All right. That's definitely dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It hasn't lightened up in the <laughs> It years. hasn't lightened up. Well, you know what's funny oh, is I uh, that a little exuberantly. Not funny, but wow, um, it's almost like soda carbonation. So it is right there. Yeah, kind of get into that. Yeah, no, it definitely it's very is. It's soda looking. Yeah, it looks like, and the way it's dissipating too. Poured a very dark Coke. Um, but when we were a couple of years, a uh, couple of years, couple of weeks ago, we were at uh, Bruce's house for that tasting. Yeah, and he opened up. Uh, we compared them side by side. A um, a dogfish. Oh, had, 120 uh, the, minute. the 120, and he had one that was just a year or two old, and one that was like, I thought he said nine or he ten said years he had old. One, he had one from this year, right. so it was actually one from this current year, and then, yeah, he had one that was between eight to ten years old. He honestly wasn't sure how old it was. And wow, what a difference those two What were. a difference, yet still, to me, I, I liked both of them. I know you like the current one more because it had right. a little more of the hop character, but even the old one was still delicious. So, I mean, they are, t- to me, they are 100% yeah. right. That is a beer you can totally age if you want to. If you don't want... As much of the hop and the sweetness that's in there, there is another complexity that reveals itself with that age. But so it just goes more, to me, it was more barley wine style. And But I, I don't think it was quite as, like the barley wines usually like, I think this was on the sweeter side, and I think it was something that was not quite as yeah. heavy grainy. Like I, I, you know, like I, said, yeah. I, I get yeah. what you're saying, because yeah, yeah. yeah. of the yeah. malts in there, but yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, this is, like I said, mostly about just trying something that, well, I've, I don't think I've ever had a beer around for eight years. So, yeah, I never have either. So now here we go. That literally looks like soda. It does. <laughs> like just to look at. It's interesting you brought up barley wine. Because that's well, there's some like candy. That uh, smells like some candied barley wine. There is some, but there's some brown sugar in there too. How come you taste so good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's definitely that dark Belgian sugar in there. Like, you know, that what they usually put like in a in like an Abbey double or something like that. You get kind of that aroma I in there. That, yeah. But then there is definitely some heavy grain going on in there too. Fruitcake candy in there. It's like um it's almost That's like uh <laughs> fruitcake candy. It's almost like cherry <laughs> Danish. It's almost like that sort of well, that, that like a pie filling. Is it a little medicinal? No, I don't get medicinal. When you said anytime I think of cherry, for some reason, I always think medicinal. I get okay. Well, maybe not. But there's a, there's a there's a, there's like a pie quality almost. There's some sort of fruit pie. Oh, um, pineapple upside down cake. So oh, like pineapple yeah. and okay. brown sugar, <laughs> yeah, which which that yeah, yeah that syrup is on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Wow. It's really it's totally not smelling what I thought it was going to smell like. It didn't smell like well, and if you go back into if you go to um. About beverages.com and go into the drink database. I believe I have notes in there from the 2010 okay. that I tried. So I remember you giving me one year. I can't remember what year it was, and I, I liked it. I mean, it was fine. Like, again, yeah. I was same as you. At, even at that time, I was like, a bottle was good. Like, I liked having yeah. it. I liked having that one, but it wasn't like I needed a dozen. I like that aroma. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really get the cherry you talked about. I get like a cherry flavor in there now. I do that. But then it actually, flavor-wise, now it does taste like medicine to me. Like there's something in there that's drying the middle of my tongue, like when you have an alcohol medicine. Yeah, it leaves that, yeah. That that middle of the tongue feeling where it's like wherever the Robitussin hits you. If you take a deep breath, it kind of, yeah, yeah, dries you out and gets like vaporous. Yeah, Yeah. wherever you put the Tussin. Wherever the Tussin the got tussin. to, wherever the Robitussin got to, or whatever cherry cough drop or syrup or something like yeah. you know, when you've the, there's a little bit of that, still a little sweet. The carbonation, I cannot believe the carbonation. Like the carbonation's well, it's definitely not, too strong for this style of beer. It's not, but and but that's how it always is. I, I know, and that's that, yeah, that's something I will mention is that yeah, that's yeah. way too for and it's Belgian still dark there. Abbey with the syrup, you know. It, you, want a more soft carbonation you don't see the carbonation really still just if you a look tiny down, bit i i do on mine if i look down you see it kind of yeah, for but me not as tight as that i mean that's really like you said it is yeah yeah i guess you taste it a little more than you see yeah i agree with that there's a little i get a little like maybe chocolate light light not like but like a very sweet chocolate it's like a milk chocolate it's like a yeah it's like a bad milk chocolate covered Cherry. cherry. And if the cherry filling was Robitussin. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's very, like the first third of that 
if you get past the carbonation, I'm kind of like, huh, wow, that's still not too bad. And then it's kind of like, as you get through the other layers of the beverage, you're kind of like, ooh, okay, this is going a little sour. Yeah. Ooh, that's not what I... Yeah, it's really leaving me dry. And my lips, though, it's kind of sticky. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that feeling when you take it, yeah, it's very much like a cough syrup. It's like something like... I don't... Like, I, I get what you... I yeah. don't... Just because of that, fe- that just because that, that yeah, feeling where it's like quite. you're like, oh, why did I? Yeah. You know, you hate you take a drink of water after you had that or something. That's uh, I w- I w- I wish you had tasting notes on it from 2005. It'd be really interesting to be able to compare. It was long before we started about beverages. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you know, like you, you were always good though. You always wrote notes, and I mean, that's how a lot of this stuff started. Was you would take little notes and yeah. make little things yourself, ideas and that kind of stuff. So I always. Um, I am just so surprised I actually had that since 2005. I know, I can't. And it was funny, even when I suggested today, when I was kind of like, well, I don't know if I really want to do it. We're like, well, I need to get these out of my fridge. I'm like, well, you can pitch them. You're like, well, I can't do that. It was, like, I'll it was give almost them to like you were offended at the maybe idea. Somebody will, well, you know, maybe somebody would <laughs> like that. I don't know uh, I don't know if this is Joe's style or, um, you know, I'll just yeah, I'll let people know that if they like it, I'll give them, a, I'll give them an aged bottle. I don't want to charge them $5. No, I'm just kidding. I won't charge you anything. Oh, that's funny. Someone actually, I'm reading on a, on a, a site, they actually did a vertical tasting of five through nine. Oh, really? Yeah. And he was talking about the five that had gone a little south. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, even before the Best Buy tasting date, which he mentioned on there of 1013. Oh, uh, 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 2008. Of 2008, he said it had already even gone a little, or he had gone a little past that with the one. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's it's like you said. It's neat that you had it this long, right? And it's cool, like tasting it like that. But and I I, I know it tasted better originally. Than that well, and because I because I don't know if they do they kind of mix it up every year. Is it a different style of beer every I year? I don't do you know. No, do you no, remember? I'm pretty sure it's the okay. same style. And because and it's I've never talked tasted with like this before. I've talked with Fitz before about which one of these we think it is, and I, and he. I can't, there was one he said it was, and then I tried that one, and I was like, no, I think it's this other one. But we. Kind of think it's one that they already do that then they just throw in there. Oh, okay. But they may tweak it a little bit for us. I honestly, yeah, I honestly, they probably start with something similar and then they say, hey, up this, up the carbonation, apparently. Yeah. Uh, It's probably what's going on. But I was just, yeah, I was just kind of curious to try it uh, because it had, you know, because it was that old. So. And now it frees up a little room in my fridge. Yeah, and there you go. So. And it uh, frees up a little room for you as well to uh, let us know if you've ever tried a beer that has been of an older vintage, if you've actually held on to something, be it a, a you know, barley wine or you know some sort of other beer that was meant to be aged, if you actually held on to it longer, you know, or even to the point where they said, hey, that's going to be good at this time, let us know. I'd, I'd totally be interested in that because, like I said, now we've had a couple experiences with that. It's really interesting because yeah. I never have stuff around that long either. I usually want to drink it. The best I ever did was with the vertical epics. Oh, which I you still st- have more of those. I have more of those now. But like I said, I thanks still to Bruce. kept. Yeah, thanks to Bruce. But like I said, I kept. Like I said, starting with that nine, I actually did keep one of everyone. So I kept those for four or five years. So that was about my best. But other things, I I have trouble. I want to I want to drink them. Yeah. At their freshness, and that's usually what they're meant for. So. Right, and some you know, and you never know. You could you could buy a beer that is meant to age and open it, and eh, it doesn't work, or could have gone yeah. bad due to natural causes, or you know, you could hang on to something longer than you thought. Like, well, case in point, now it wasn't that much longer, but the the Stone, the Best Buy, the Enjoy Buy eight two. Oh right, and you're like, you should drink that, and I so I had <laughs> it. You did the, I did I had it the other day, and it certainly wasn't as floral. But it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It just had a little bit more, uh, not malty, but like caramely notes. Um, but I drank it and I yeah. enjoyed it. But it just, yeah, it didn't have the high notes anymore. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, you never know. It's and a, that's really it's, what it's you're a, gonna it's lose. A risk. If you've got stouts, stouts, barley wines, heavier things like that, those are things that can last a little longer if you refrigerate them, if you cellar them properly. IPAs and stuff like that in general. You no, know, you want to drink those at right. the peak of freshness. Drink but. fresh. But whether we like it or not, you should. Give it an aged shot. <laughs>